Again, I was uh, coaching somebody this uh, weekend and she was going through this uh, conundrum. And uh, what she said to me was that I can never find a job uh, for myself. Uh, wherever I look, I get, I get uh, a blockage. You know, uh, jobs don't turn out for me. Uh, I get rejected. So she is firmly in, uh, was firmly in the belief that her life was predestined. So I asked her, I said, do you feel expanded when you think, when you experience this? And she says, absolutely not. I said, so I said to her, I said, you know, when we are, when we give up like this and we say, you know what, I'm predestined never to find a job. I'm predestined never to find uh, you know, joy in my life, whether that is through financial freedom or it is through a family connections or through people or relationships or even finding a job, a meaningful expression of life. Uh, whenever you say that it, I'm predestined never to, to, to be happy in this way, we're becoming victims. And so the idea there is, are we as human beings predestined to um, to a particular life uh, and we'll, what, no matter what we do or try, uh, we can never escape from the, the thrusts of that predestination. Then the other argument is, well, we have free will. Uh, you know, we can choose at this very moment to be who we are and to express how we express ourselves. And this comes, you know, th this came to a head with her because I started asking her some questions. I said, so, uh, do you feel like a victim? She says, yes. Uh, I said, okay, so you feel that you are stuck in a, in, a, in a location that you can never get out of? I go, she goes, yes. And I said, well, tell me what's stopping you to move to another location? So she then tells me that her uh, husband uh, wants to spend a, uh, take, take one more year before he, he wants to retire. So I said to her, well, isn't that free will? That's not predestination. It's a choice you're making every day in your life to stay where you are. What you are afraid of is the unknown. And so next time I ask you, my, 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 my family here on, on, uh, on Espresso Shot, that when you ever, whenever you feel like giving up on life, and we've all been there, I've been there, we've all said, ah, you know, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother doing this. I'm not even bother, gonna bother trying this. Just ask yourself, am I playing the victim? And when you're playing the victim, the universe gives you everything that you need to express yourself in that way. In other words, you are choosing to play a victim. And so if I were to uh, you know, convince you or, or try and inspire you to think about life as a, as, a, as a series of choices, when something bad happens to you, ask yourself, you know, did I, did I, do I have an energy field around me that is drawing these random occurrences uh, uh, to me? In other words, if you're standing, if you're, if you're swimming in an ocean and the wave is coming up at you and you're just kind of the victim of that wave, uh, that's essentially because you are, your energy field is not solidifying you. And so the question then becomes, what do I need to do to actually create my own life and to and, and to uh, uh, kind of manage all the ebbs and flows of everything else that's happening that's not in my control. And it's a simple thing uh, that I'm made aware of and I wanted to share with you and that simple thing is this, that your perception of reality is essentially informing your biology. So in other words, things could be going crazy around you, but if you maintain that centeredness, if you practice the breathing technique that we do here, and experience joy, just despite the kind of chaos that's going around you, but you just bring joy into your heart, you will become centered. You will be like in the center of that tornado. You'll be in that center of that tornado that's destroying everything around it, but in the center is where the stability is, where you're not really being jarred. And you wanna be that. When life throws you curveballs. you wanna be centered, and you wanna find your way out of the situation. And here's the key. To be centered, you actually have to make a free will choice. You have to choose to bring forward emotions that create joy in your heart. And your biology will not know the difference. When you are seeing something sad unfold before you, 
and you bring in that feeling of compassion and ease in your heart. You choose to do that out of your free will and the whole reality around you shifts. So I hope this has been informative. 